Hey, homeschoolers and YouTube. Let me tell you about the easiest way to get your homeschool energy back. I almost entitled it the absolute easiest way because I think it's there too. So, so let me tell you what exhausts you. What exhausts you in anything is the number of decisions you have to make in a day. The more decisions you have to make, the more exhausted you are because decisions take energy. And so what you want to do with your homeschool is kind of design it to where uh, there's not a lot of decision making going on. Uh, maybe a lot for the kids and solving problems, but that's because they're growing and learning and wrestling. That's why they get tired uh, of doing uh, work like math because they're making a lot of decisions. So that's how it works. And the way to get rid of the decisions is to be really smart, to kind of outthink the decision making. So, for example, if you live in a world, let me just give you an example. So, if you live in a world where you're caught trying to think, let's say, every day what you're going to cook for supper that night. So, that's a decision. And then you've got to look at the ingredients, see what you have, and that's going to be a decision. And then you're going to need to put some things on the grocery store list. That might be a decision. And you just multiply. This one... You know, if you know basically what you're going to eat Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, even if it's a category like Friday's junk food night, you know, the rest of the week we eat healthy, you're in a better place. If you know the decision is we're doing dessert on Sunday nights, we did that. We didn't have much sugar, but we would do dessert, excuse me, on Saturday nights. Uh, that made a, dis uh, a distinction uh, and it helped immensely. So what are you doing with your homeschool? You get up every day and say, huh, what are we going to do today? I wonder about this or that, or do I feel like this? Or does everybody kind of know the game plan? Because if they know the game plan, everything changes. So here's how you do it. You figure out a game plan. And it doesn't have to be every detail every five minutes of the day. But if you'll figure out patterns that that's what you're going to do, here's what we did. They got up and they did 30 minutes of writing. They did uh, an hour of math, uh, then they did an hour of reading, then they did, I think, 30 minutes of exercise, play, something, basketball, I don't know, it varied. Uh, and then again, an hour of uh, reading, and then an hour of math. And we ended on math because they were motivated to finish it for lunch and to go on with their day. Uh, so we were heavy into... Uh, reading, writing, arithmetic, obviously. But everybody knew it, and they settled in, maybe not the first week, not the first day, for sure, but they knew this was the plan. There was no decisions to make. Where am I in the math book? Where am I in my reading, right? Uh, and we had a sequence on how to uh, write, which goes with our writing course. But that's the actual game plan. So if you have things figured out that you take the decisions out of it, your energy comes back because you're not exhausted trying to figure out thing after thing after thing all day long. I hope this helps. Hey, subscribe and check out our free stuff below. Thanks.